Hello YouTube, uh, this is Ma Yun Jay. Uh, today the purpose of this video is to show you how to route the Goof phone Wi-Fi. Um, first I have obtained all the download links from this website created by XDA developers. Uh, this website is, is very simple to follow and uh, it gives you uh, great information about the best knockoffs available uh, which one of them is the Goo Apple V5 3G and the Goo Phone Wi-Fi. Uh, here you can find many support and all the download links for the uh, following files that you're going to be needing in order to root your uh, Goo Phone Wi-Fi. Mine is, has already been rooted. I have the recovery image. Um, sorry. And uh, it has already the recovery image and uh, as you can see I have super user. Okay. So the, the following steps are very simple to follow. Um, I'm going to guide you uh, through it. So if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. And uh, I'll be more than glad to help you. Okay, so uh, from this website, uh, you're going to come here to where it says uh, uh, Routing Goofon Wi-Fi. And here you find all the three files you're going to need in order uh, to root it. Okay. I have already downloaded them, so they're right here. I have the Google Phone Wi-Fi root uh, zip file. I also have the M44 Toolbox uh, that APK. That's an app, and uh, you're also going to need the recovery image. Okay. So once you have those downloaded, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your uh, your Google Phone Wi-Fi to the computer. Okay. Mine is going to be a little different because I already have the new ROM, but you're going to go ahead and go to USB connect it and you're going to turn it on. That will allow you to access your uh, SD card from the computer. You should see a pop up on your desktop notifying you about the memory information. Okay, uh, you can place the files on uh, either one of these, it doesn't really matter because, uh, anyways, you'll be able to uh, access them. Uh, uh, without any um, any problems, uh, but on the ones I put him was on the let me see I believe it was the F. Yes, it was on the F folder, removable disk F. That's the one that has only about three gigabytes. Cause mine is an eight gigabyte one, but it has an internal memory already. So I just put him um, on the one that has three gigabytes. It says two point six available. So that's where I put all my files. So what you're going to do is, uh, once again, once you have downloaded the, the three files that I show you on the website, which are right here, you're going to move them to the, uh, mine uh, is the recovery, uh, I'm sorry, removable media F. So we're going to go ahead and hit send to, removable disk F. Okay, I believe that one is done. Now we're going to send the recovery image. You can do it either this way or you can just drag it directly to the folder. So we're going to send it here to removable uh, disk F again. And last but not least, we're going to send um, the M44 toolbox that APK. So we're going to hit send to. Okay, removable disk F. So I already have it, I forgot to delete it, so I'm just going to hit cancel, but in, in, in your case, it should be able to go through. Then you might want to verify it, you might want to open that folder and make sure you have, um, here it is, the Google Phone Wi-Fi root, uh, the M44 toolbox.apk, and the recovery image. It's very important you have those three files, okay? Once you have those three files on your SD card, you're going to do the following, you're going to turn it off, okay? Now uh, you may unplug your phone. Okay, now it's going to take you back to the regular settings of the phone. Right here. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do, uh, which I found it to be easier, is right now I have the recovery image I have. Is the, is the one that I already flashed, so I don't have the one that came stock with it. Now when you do this, uh, it's going to put up into a, it's going gonna, it's gonna to call it a, uh, uh, system recovery 3e that's just a stock one uh, but you're gonna follow the same instructions so I'm gonna uh, tell you right now you're just gonna power off the phone first okay so we're gonna power it off 
Okay, once it's powered off, you might want to verify that it's fully off and uh, by pressing the home button. Once you confirm that, you want to press the uh, minus volume button right here. And then you're going to um, uh, keep holding the minus volume button. You're going to press the power button until the phone is going to vibrate once. Once it does that, you're going to let it go. And there you see um, it says uh, recovery mode. Okay, now once you see the recovery image, um, you should be able to go to where it says um, update that zip on this case it's not going to work for me because I already have the new recovery but in your case you're going to go to update that zip you're going to find the zip which in my case is going to be here it's going to be where it says uh, install from um, from install from SD card the zip file then uh, if I move here to where it says um, uh, SD from uh, find well actually find zip from SD card. I gonna see it. It's right at the bottom. Let me just focus this for you. Okay, you can see it right there. It says Google Phone Wi-Fi root that zip. Okay, but in your case, you're gonna find it where it says update that zip. You should be able to see it there. You're gonna highlight it. Okay, you're gonna highlight it, and then you're gonna press the power button which is the enter button then you're gonna confirm and install I already done it so I'm not gonna do this I'm just gonna hit back okay once you do this it's gonna ask you to reboot uh, so you're gonna go ahead it's probably gonna prompt you here um, you gotta go back to the main screen and I, I know mine is in Chinese but yours is gonna say reboot phone now so you're gonna uh, hit enter when you see that and your phone will reboot now, uh, once you flash the zip file only, it's going to tell you that uh, uh, your phone has been uh, successfully rooted. So that's good. So it's, it, should, it should reboot by this time. Okay, now once it starts up, it's going to be doing all this thing. Um, okay, so now we're going to slide to unlock. Now the next thing we're going to do is install that application I mentioned um, earlier sometimes it takes a moment until the launcher actually starts so you start seeing all the applications there you go so now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna install that uh, APK file uh, be, be the, put on the SD card previously which is the uh, M44 uh, toolbox that APK now we're gonna install that so um, you might see your ROM might be a little different from mine but you're gonna find something called file manager you should have it then on file manager, you're going to scroll down until you see the um, the actual uh, APK. Hold on, mine should be on SD card 2. You scroll down, and there it is. Okay? Just find it. It's got to be there. Remember, there are two memories, so we put them on the uh, smaller one. So there we see the M44 toolbox. You're going to tap on it. I have already uh, installed this application, so I'm going to hit cancel, but in your case, you're just going to proceed with the installation. Okay? Now, once you um, install this uh, application, you should see something like this. I'm going to show you in just a moment how the application looks like. It's like this right here, the guy with the glasses. And um, that will, uh, it's a tool used to flash the recovery image which you already also have uh, place on your SD card so now it's gonna probably ask you for root permissions you're gonna hit yes okay and here you can see right there that it says recovery update okay that you're gonna tap on that and now you're gonna see at the very top it says in SD card 2 and it has uh, it says 1 so once you see that you're not gonna touch anything below you're just gonna hit Right there where it says um, SD card 1. Okay. Oh, it's actually right in the very top. It says recovery that image. Uh, so you're going to go to the very top. You're going to tap on it. And then it says, uh, are you sure? Flash recovery. And uh, you're going to hit OK. Now your phone is going to reboot. Recovery mode. Now your phone sometimes it might reboot to recovery mode or it might just reboot to the regular um, 
uh, regular screen where we see all the apps but if it doesn't reboot into recovery you will have just to do it manually again just hold the minus button uh, make sure it's fully powered off um, and then you're gonna press the power button until you should see this you should see now uh, the Chinese recovery okay um, once you see this you are already done uh, there's nothing else you need to do um, so all you have to do now is just uh, install any ROM that that is available which I'm gonna show you how to do that on the next video okay uh, let's just go ahead and reboot that's pretty much it on how to root it and install the recovery image it's very very simple if you have any questions please let me know um, again as I said uh, you can if you have any uh, doubt you can either visit the website on the link below or you can just contact me and I'll help you as best I can okay uh, thanks for watching and have a good one